Now MPs will vote on the Conservative motion tomorrow. But joining us right now are Mark Gerritsen. He's the Liberal MP for Kingston and the Islands in Ontario. He's also the Parliamentary Secretary for the Government House Leader. Michael Cooper is the Conservative MP for St. Albert Edmonton. He's also a member of the Common Standing Committee on Procedure and House Affairs. And Peter Julian is the NDP House Leader and the MP for New Westminster Burnaby in British Columbia. Hello to all three of you. Hello. Good, good to be here. Good to be here. Uh, Mr. Garrison, I'll, I'll, I'll start with you. You know, the Conservative leader is very clear. He thinks that Katie Telford has information pertinent to the investigation on foreign interference. She has testified in public before. Why not now on such an important matter? Well, I think it's uh, important just to reflect on Mr. Polyev's comments himself. Back in 2010, he himself said that, um, you know, bringing staff before committee is not uh, the appropriate uh, uh, um, thing to do. Ministers are ultimately accountable, not staff uh, individuals. And in 2010, uh, Prime Minister Harper sent John Baird to a committee um, when uh, the committee had re requested staff go, So, who was a minister at the time. So I think it's important to reflect on the fact that, um, you, know, uh, you know, just look at what Mr. Polyev himself has said, which is that um, it's not appropriate. And I think that a lot of people agree with that. Mr. Julian himself even actually just said that in committee uh, recently, which is right. At the end of the day, the buck stops with the minister. It's up to the minister uh, to be answering questions. Uh, the minister is the one that's responsible, uh, and we should be keeping that um, several hundred year old uh, tradition intact. And Ms. Cooper, how do you respond to that? Given the, the track record of Mr. Poliev while he was in opposition, why in this case should Katie Telfer, Saffer, actually testify? This is just another example of the Liberals doing anything to deflect from the issue at hand, talking about Mr. Poliev's statements from 10 or 13 years ago on a different issue in a different context but didn't involve the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff. Katie Telford is more than just a staff member. She is the Prime Minister's top political advisor. She is arguably the second most powerful person in government of the Prime Minister and she is a critical witness to get to the bottom of the heart of the scandal and that is what does the Prime Minister know when did he know about it? And what did he do or fail to do with respect to Beijing's election interference in not one, but two elections under his watch as prime minister? It's also important to note that Katie Telford was intricately involved in the Liberal Party campaigns of 2019 and 2021. Uh, both campaigns have a lot to answer for in terms of some of the allegations around foreign interference. So it's absolutely imperative that Katie Telford appear. And the fact that the Liberals have spent almost 24 hours at PROC filibustering my straightforward motion to bring her to committee raises the question, what does Katie Telford know that the Prime Minister wants to hide from Canadians? Uh, Mr. Julian, Mr. Gerritsen uh, quoted you to us, but I'll get you to speak for yourself. Given what we're hearing from Mr. Cooper, do you think it is important to hear from the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff? Well, first off, our, our priority and the NDP's priority is to put in place a public inquiry. We believe that needs to be independent and transparent. We steered that motion through PROC. Tomorrow, the NDP will be moving that motion as a concurrence motion. And we are hoping that all MPs uh, uh, vote yes on the motion for a public inquiry to send that unmistakable message to the Prime Minister. The, the reality is, uh, at the committee level, uh, it doesn't have the same effectiveness as having the public inquiry. And that's uh, the NDP being the adults in the room yet again, and the member from Burnaby South, Jagmeet Singh, uh, proposing that public inquiry. Uh, we believe that, that that is the way to look at, in a comprehensive way, at the foreign interference. Yes, the Chinese example, but also the Russian example that was, uh, as uh, the National Observer exposed, uh, related to the convoy takeover of Ottawa and other governments like Iran as well. These are all things that need to be covered by a public inquiry, and we're going to continue to press uh, the government to put that into place. Okay, but if you want a public inquiry, and of course you're not the only opposition party that's calling for this, why not support support, uh, I guess, what you could call an interim step to get Katie Telford to testify to, to, to gain some greater transparency. Uh, well, you, you'll recall a, a couple of weeks ago, I actually moved a motion to that effect in procedure in House Affairs, and the Conservatives then blocked it and messed with it. 
Uh, and then ultimately in terms of the public inquiry, which called for both Katie Telford and also Jenny Burns, uh, the campaign manager for Pierre Polyev to come forward. And the Conservatives, in fact, uh, Mr. Cooper, amended it to take that out of the public inquiry call. So th there's a, a lot of political games being played. I think the reality is fundamentally we need to look at what is in the best interest of Canada. That is clearly a public inquiry and the NDP is going to be and, dogged and, and determined to get that done. And, and let me just say that I supported, Conservatives supported as a friendly amendment, an amendment to my motion to include uh, Jenny Byrne on the list of witnesses to appear before PROC. And, you know, quite frankly, uh, we support a public inquiry. Pierre Polyev has been very clear about that, and we will be supporting the NDP concurrence motion. But the real issue at hand is what is the NDP going to do about Katie Telford? The NDP blocked Katie Telford from appearing before Proc on three occasions. Uh, you, the real, if, the if, real if, test if, is... If I can... You Peter, sure, the the Peter, the real, the real, Peter, 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 it out. Peter, respectfully, the test... The test, the, well, tomorrow... You, you move the amendment to Are you going to vote, you gonna vote for if, or against the motion? The well, I can Peter. jump in here just okay. for a second. I think, it's it's, it I think that what it's Mr. Julian is talking about is actually the right direction. Why are the Conservatives so focused on just China? When you think about it today, the President of Russia and the President of, of China are meeting to talk about um, you know, moving forward and what the future looks like. We know that foreign interference is not just coming from China. We, have, we know that foreign interference is something that uh, Russia's interested in, something that Iran's interested in, something that China's interested in. Why are the Conservatives just focused on China? So I actually agree with Mr. Julian when he talks about broadening the scope of what we do and what is being looked at specifically. The only issue that I have with the NDP's position is the venue in which you do it. Um, um, they're very adamant about a public inquiry. I tend to think that, you know, listening to our security experts who suggest that the better place for this is within the institutions that we already have that are tasked to deal with this. Um, and so, but I, but I, I do appreciate uh, where Mr. Julian's coming from when he says we need to start looking at all of this. But the conservatives seem, seem very interested in only talking about China, and one can only wonder why. Uh, well, Mr. Clear. Cooper, let me let me jump in very quickly, Mr. Cooper. You, you know, we, we heard Mr. Julian reference political games, and the Prime Minister does accuse your party of playing politics and undermining faith in democratic institutions. There are processes underway to investigate the issue, as the Liberal House uh, leader puts it, with deep seriousness. Is your party just trying to score political points here? We supported the NDP mo amendment to my motion to have a public inquiry that is broad in scope, and we will support the concurrence motion tomorrow. But what is at issue are very specific reports of interference by Beijing in two elections, a vast campaign of interference, uh, and we need to get to the bottom of what the Prime Minister knew, when he knew about it, and why he failed to act. That is the heart of the issue, and in order to get that answer, we need to have Katie Telford appear before committee. Now, they, the Liberals have something to hide. They've been filibustering for more than 24 hours. The question is for the NDP, and they, they'll get to make a choice and answer that question tomorrow. Are they going to support our motion for transparency, to get answers about Beijing's interference, to have Katie Telford appear before PROC, before the Ethics Committee, or are they going to continue to do the bidding I, I of this corrupt liberal government. I think it's very rich for Mr. Uh, Cooper to be sitting next to me talking about a government in Canada that is corrupt, talking about uh, having something truth, to hide, the truth, when the, the reality truth, of the, the situation is, is that this government has done more regarding foreign interference than any than, than any other government, and indeed, Stephen Harper did absolutely nothing. We've set up ENSICOP with the tools for parliamentary oversight. We've set up a special panel to review elections real time and respond to the threats in real time. We've brought in legislation, Bill C-76, that the Conservatives voted against that specifically tightens up the rules around fundraising and foreign interference. We've closed multiple different loopholes. We've worked uh, for seven or eight years on this issue specifically. So to somehow come in here and say that, you, you know, we're not doing anything and we haven't done enough, I think is incredibly but rich. The Liberals have not done a public inquiry. That's what Jagmeet Singh has called for. That's what Jean-Pierre Kingsley, the former head of Elections Canada, has called for. And a variety 
of people who've been involved in the security establishment, they all believe a public inquiry is warranted and necessary. And this, for the life of me, I, I don't understand uh, the stonewalling by the Prime Minister's office and the Prime Minister on something that just strikes a chord of good common sense for so many Canadians. They want to make sure that our election system is preserved and protected, that we are free of foreign interference. We have a number of egregious examples of Chinese interference, of Russian interference, and we need the public inquiry to get answers for Canadians and clear the air. And, and but Mr. Julian, Canadian. sorry, Mr. Cooper, yeah. but Mr. Julian, again, and Mr. Cooper has made the point, though, if you want to get to closer to the truth, why not support the motion when it's, uh, when it's up for a vote in the House tomorrow? Will you support the Conservative motion tomorrow? Again, the Conservatives have been all over the map. They took out the motion that called for a public inquiry, called for Katie Telford and Jenny Burns to testify. They stripped that out. Mr. Cooper stripped that out of the motion that the NDP will be presenting tomorrow on the public inquiry. Uh, so they've been all over the Mr. map on these but things. But in terms of the it's Conservative motion introduced in the House today, will your party be supporting it? It, this is not the motion that the NDP would be presenting. This is not the motion that the NDP uh, is putting forward in the House tomorrow. And so what we've said very, very clearly is a public inquiry is warranted and necessary, and we're hoping that the government sees that very quickly. Okay, uh, quickly losing time, but I know, Mr. Cooper, you want to get in there very quickly. Well, very simply, uh, if Mr. Julian is committed to getting to the truth, then he would support the motion. We're not opposed well, to the concurrence motion. We're open to friendly amendments to our motion from the NDP. Katie but the key question, out of the NDP a motion. The why key did you question is that Katie you're Telford, the one who moved the motion she to strip knows the truth. Former MPs, Pardon me, I, 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 she former knows the truth and it's up to the NDP. They can be the part of it. But cover up coalition. One day will do that. Cover up and then the next here, day they will strip out they the... they can join us in getting answers for Canadians to get to the bottom It's very difficult to follow the Conservatives as they work through coalition. this very, very strange, cover up uh, very strange route that the can't Conservatives answer, take, where one day they're questions. in favor, the next day they're opposed. It's very strange, okay. uh, difficult well, to follow. The, the coalition well, we, at work, covering well, up. Well, we will be watching the we will be watching the vote on the motion tomorrow, coalition. gentlemen. We're out of time. Would actually tell you what the difference Mr. is between Julian, and supply and coalition. Mr. Julian, Mr. Cooper, Mr. Gerritsen, thank you for this. We're watching the vote tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.